Now we're going to look at a little bit of uh, formatting tags. We're not necessarily going to go through all of them. Um, there is a full list if you go to the w3schools.com. There's what they call a little quick list, and uh, that'll give you the rest of them. But we're going to look at some of the basic ones. Now one of the first ones we're going to look at is the strong tag. And that is exactly how it sounds. Strong. And uh, we want to put the closing tag around what we want to make bold. So what we've done here is just simply told the page to make the word cat in this particular paragraph bold. So we save it, take a look in the browser, make sure we switch to example three. There you go. You can see it. So the word cat is bold there. And it's important to remember you need to wrap this around what you want to be bold. We can take this opening tag here and drag it before the, and now the cat will be bold, as you see there. Now another tag that's pretty widely used would be the emphasis tag, which is an annoying word to spell, so they've made it easy for us, and it's just EM. And we're going to wrap that around the word walked. So now we save that. What this does is it makes it italic. Now there is an italic tag, which is the I tag, but uh, as far as I know that's being depreciated and it's actually used a lot of times with, with other things that uh, you'll, you'll get into way later, but just start using strong and emphasis tags uh, because there is a B tag for bold and an I tag for italic, but uh, you know, stray away from using those. Now another tag that has some formatting involved in it is the block quote tag. Now if you'll note here, you've probably been noting this for a while, but uh, in applications like Dreamweaver and, and some of the other ones, uh, there's a lot of code hinting where you can, you know, you start typing and it starts trying to figure out what you're trying to type and really speeds things along. Some uh, hardcore um, programmers will you know, say they have, they want they need to type everything out themselves. Whatever, <laughs> you know, if you can use tools that uh, help you speed things up while still understanding what you're doing, go for it. So this is the block quote, and we're just going to say this is the end of the story. Save this. Check out our page, and all that does is really indents it. Whether you really want this to be a quote or not, that's up to you. You know, we can come back in here and add some set of double quotes there. But um, that's all it really does. It puts, it puts a little buffer between the left side, um, in this case, the left side of the document, um, but really the left side of whatever it's, it's in, it's contained in. And uh, that may not make sense just yet, uh, but, but it will down the line. Now, there's one more I want to look at, and that is the pre-formatted text tag. I had mentioned how white space doesn't really mean anything when doing code, uh, and it doesn't unless you're using the pre-formatted tag. So to give an example of that, let's create a pre-tag. So what we can do here is I'm just going to create like a little byline. And say by Alan enter date now and uh, this is going to take this thing like I said verbatim so you're going to get the same effect as a break tag here let me see that there now if I hit enter and we do like a tab out save that there you go. I use that sparingly. There are other reasons I will use the pre-tag um, a lot of times when uh, incorporating things like PHP and stuff. I very rarely use it for uh, formatting straight HTML, but it can come in handy. It's good to know that it exists. Um, but really, if you're trying to accomplish some of these things that we just did, using CSS is better.